I have an old Matsura mill it's from 1980 and I keep having issues with it losing its place or not homing properly or even just strange behavior like the axes are moving. So the reason is the encoder. So you might have a feedback unit that looks like this. And then depending on what model you got, this is actually a newer one, so it's replaced the Z axis on mine, but I was having issues with the Y axis and it turned out on the Y axis, the Z channel was not sending a signal. So on an encoder, you have an A, B and Z. The A, B is so many thousand pulses per revolution. The Z is an index. So for every one revolution, you get a Z pulse. And on my other encoder, it was the Z that wasn't working. But on my Z axis, it does home occasionally, but it will also lose its place. And someone's definitely had an issue because this is a newer encoder. So the strange thing about these encoders is these potentiometers are a voltage reference and one of these chips is a comparator. Now, when the signal changes because it's using a photodiode, it only changes about 0 0.6, 0 0.7 volts. So sometimes it's easier to use a comparator to see when it changes. Now the voltage reference wants to be such that when the signal changes, it changes the output of the comparator. Strangely, these are just on the borderline and then set in place. So over time, as things deteriorate, such as the sensor, these stop working. So I connected a power supply to this, just the 12 volt, as it says on the side. And then I've got my ground reference for my oscilloscope. And then this lead, which I can then attach to the, the A, B, or the Z. Now, I'm currently at the Z point on this. So as you see, that is currently positive. Now, if I turn this potentiometer back, just the slightest bit, it doesn't work. So it's currently working there. But if I turn it to say there, it doesn't work anymore. So there's actually no signal on the oscilloscope. And that's the same with the A and the B channel. So you'll see this VR1, that's the A, VR2, sorry, 2VR. That's B and then 3VR, which is the Z. So basically, you just want to turn this as far as you can until you see the signal change. And then turn it all the way and see if the signal still changes. If it doesn't, then you've got to turn it back. And then just go somewhere in the middle. And then once you're in the middle, some either nail varnish or super glue just to hold this in place and that's all it needs. So, for example, I'm gonna turn this back until it doesn't work. So I'm gonna leave my, try and leave my phone against my oscilloscope. Either way, you'll see the trace move. So, I'm currently on Z. So I'm going to keep turning this until it goes positive again, which is there. And that is exactly where the paint is. So I've actually, I'm actually going to turn it quite a bit further and glue it in place. And this is what I did with my other ones. And then I can repeat that with the A axis. So it's currently positive. Turn the A back till it doesn't work, which is there. So it does work. So this one's actually was in a good place. That one didn't need turning. And I'll do the same with the B. So that's still positive. Turn it back.
so the beer was also good. So I really can't understand why in the Z they have it so close. I, the pin was just on the edge of this one, whereas the other ones were probably an eighth of a turn. And that's it, that's all you need to do. So I'm going to set those in place now. You can see this one, I've actually moved quite away. So that point there used to be there. Whereas these ones, that one's in its original place and that one is, and they're totally fine. So I'm going to glue those down and my mill should work again.